Hey guys, so I thought I'd make this really quick video about smoky quartz and black tourmaline. I'm feeling really relaxed, really good right now. I just got done uh, saging myself outside and just charging my crystals under the sage smoke. This takes me way back. Smoky quartz and black tourmaline. I've been using it a long time ago, but I've been recently reintroduced to my divine connection with these two crystals. Now, instead of just making one crystal video, today I wanted to share a combination of two because the two together is like a powerful concoction, like a potion, like a chemically balanced harmony of grounding. And uh, I have some notes here. Actually, I spoke with my God journal. Uh, lately, every day has been a different crystal, a different theme uh, that I've been addressing. And today has been a lot of uh, deep-rooted issues um, in terms of not only jealousy uh, with relationships, but also... Um, with others as well. So I'll get into that, but basically I wanna address one at a time because it, it's not a relationship of the two without addressing each as their own uniqueness one at a time individually. So uh, again, these are just a couple of my many new crystals you're gonna see probably tomorrow or in a couple days on my ASMR channel. Uh, but you guys get a special sneak peek of these crystals because you're my vlog channel universe darlings. All right, so I wrote down um, what I see have seen in meditation. I meditate every day with uh, crystals. Uh, use smoky quartz, I wrote, to let go, remove anxiety, ground yourself, and connect to source at the same time. So this is smoky quartz point. Okay, it has like a brownish hue to it. It's kind of a cloudy, gloomy day today, so the lighting is maybe not the best. And I didn't want to use that bright light today. I just felt like the lighting was pretty, as long as my face is pretty well lit, it's fine. Um, ground yourself and connect to source at the same time. So this is one of those that grounds you and connects you to source at the same time. Uh, and I wrote, continue carrying around black tourmaline like before as well. So that's a very great divine connection. Uh, this was back in the 15th when I worked with these crystals. So I, I wanted to um, bring it up today because uh, I was reminded. Um, proceed with crystal healing over chakra points and massage, nightly rituals. So that's kind of like around when I started uh, doing that. Um, and then I wrote, there's never one set in stone thing I have to do. <laughs> Get it set in stone. Uh, I should continue doing what I'm doing and being myself. And so those are just some things, again, I wrote down, like I'm in meditation and then I write them down so I don't forget. And so I can check back and be like, ah, yes, that's what this stone is good for. Uh, not just simply Googling the meanings, because that's meaningless. Like without the experience in your life, it's meaningless. And then I wrote, never, ever forget the power of the healing crystals. Continue to utilize their divine given abilities. They were delivered here for a reason. So those are the mental impressions I've gotten out of this crystal alone that day, at least the most important ones. Some things you see in meditation while utilizing crystals are like, what the heck was that? You may not understand it. Why is this repressed memory being brought back up? But that's that. So my notes for um, black tourmaline. So this is black tourmaline, just like a slab chunk of a, it's a very uh, smooth and in-depth crystal. Like it's when you pick it up and feel it, it's like, wow, it's like so in-depth. It kind of sucks you in and pulls you out at the same time. So my notes for this were on the, what is, oh, today actually, I was working with it today on the 20th. Use black tourmaline for anxiety, even when going through a lot. All right, so this helped me a lot with um, some of my fears, uh, even a few years ago. And then I wrote a lot of uh, personal things about uh, jealousy that I was going through. So this may actually even help you with jealousy. Maybe that was just my personal path. I can't guarantee that for you, but some healing things come up. I can't wait to actually go over my chakra points. I'm gonna do that tonight with this crystal and see what comes up. Um, mm -hmm. 
and I wrote smoky quartz and black tourmaline are an excellent combo put over your heart and meditate so in meditation what I did was I not only I went outside and I actually was meditating with these as well I just put them in my palms like this and then I switched them over and put the other in my palm like this and then I put them both together even just feeling them cling together oh it's so good although if you do get black tourmaline be careful not to press too hard they can actually um, start to chunk away. So I just did this. And then you can put the two together, hold them to your heart, and continue your meditations. I actually put these over my feet as well. Something told me to. So I did the same. This on my left foot, this on my right foot. Then I switched them. This on my left foot, this on my right foot. And I got a lot. That was when the jealousy issue came through. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that was even still in, in me, you know? Um, released old desires of past. Whoa, it just flung at me. Like, yeah, like a reminder, like release the old desires of the past. And you do some of the EFT tapping as well. Maybe it's a reminder to continue doing that as well. Um, so like old past crushes and relationships and exes and such, release and let it go. The memory that was repressed and suppressed for so long, so many years, I can now move on and let go. So that's what I got out of these two crystals combined together. Um, so it's not like that they combine literally energetically. I guess they could, but each one of them does their own properties. And combined, you just get like double action. Like one does this, one does this. And then you just like, instead of having one AAA battery, you have two, right? For example. And then I wrote, you have the answers. So that's what I heard while holding these. I also got an impression of observing through my third eye higher self. And I saw like, like for example, um, people are just connecting energetically. So that's what I um, impressed upon. Um, the connection between all of us and each other. Um, and then I wrote, I can always connect to someone in the same way. These connections come and go constantly and everyone is connected in some way. Nothing to be, um, really overanalyzed. It's just like people connect all the time. So that's again, what I got from these two crystals in general. So, um, I do know for sure the tourmaline with the fear and the anxiety, the quartz with the groundingness and just overall, it's honestly helped me with anxiety as well. just combining the two. This with the point amplifies the intention of what you're doing. I used to carry on these big, huge, heavy, smoky quartz rocks and black tourmaline in my bag. And I noticed like the, the tourmaline every day I'd carry them in my book bag in school. It would like shed away and I didn't realize why. Maybe it was my energy, but part of it. But another part was because when you clash and clump crystals together, of course they're gonna break apart over time, especially if they're big and heavy and chunky and they're moving around in there. Your book bag and drop it on the floor and such. So again, be precautious of that. They do tear over time. Doesn't mean the crystal is useless. No, every crystal has a shelf life just like us. We lose hair, we um, lose weight. You know, it doesn't make us less of a person. It's just like wholeness and oneness and unity with ourselves. And the last two or three days I've been eating very light. In fact, my appetite has been like non-craving. Like I haven't really been craving sweets, sugars, meats, um, and I've just been feeling very light and I've been listening to a lot of like um, regressions lately. So that's just been my journey lately. I've been very on that path right now and feeling good. And I know I'm on the path when I keep seeing 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 4, 4, 4. <laughs> like that lets you know like you're aligned, you're in balance, you're in harmony with um, your angelic divine connection. So yeah. Uh, this has not only been helping me ground myself, but also realize my divine connection. Because again, the smoky quartz connects not only to your grounding self, but to your higher self as well. And so it definitely helps you to be guided and in tune. And you know, I carry this in my pockets when I go outside and for, go for a walk in nature, uh, take the dog out to pee, you know. And um, also while I was outside, you know, I, I just been carrying this everywhere I go in work, working on clients' sessions, my upload I just did, you know, like back and forth, I just carry it where I go on the computer. Um, I don't literally carry it everywhere I go, like I don't carry it to the bathroom, but you know, like just really have it when I sleep. And I've been getting such good sleep lately, just working with these crystals and just, I hope that this reaches out to someone so that um, in some way you can be more in tune with yourself through the connection of the part of the crystals. The crystals just amplify um, 
any intention that you have in them and set them within them i mean so um yeah they're really cool thank you guys for joining me um i really enjoy doing these uh daily updates on these things uh i can't stop holding them looking at them there's something about it it's like metallic warm and cool at the same time and feeling and it really keeps connecting to my palms so it's just definitely a deep long-term personal connection and relationship i have with these two stones combined together very good and it brought up a lot of um, memories that um, i had in my past and healing old ones so that was very great immersive experience and um, i love doing this in-depth work and continuing to heal and grow in whatever ways I can and sharing my journey with you uh, through these vlogs. So hope you got some insight, knowledge, and awareness on this. Thank you guys for joining me. May I send you the healing and whatever comes to your mind now is the message for you from spirit. What do you think? What's the first mental impression you get? That's the message for you. Take care.